Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanted to discuss this beautiful one to two risk to reward trade that I took following ICT's silver bullet strategy. And just for proof, here it is the live screenshot from inside my MetaTrader. Here's the sell that I took right here, rode it all the way down to the TP, which ended up netting me $1,745, which was just over a 1.5% gain on my account. Right, so just before we go on to this actual strategy itself, I did have a couple comments in my previous video asking me to discuss this morning's trade, the Judas Swing. So I just thought I'd quickly touch onto it just so everyone can see what I saw. The way I was seeing the markets is, as I said, you have to first of all know your directional bias for the day. As we can see, this was my trade yesterday and the trade from the day before. And as it stands, the directional bias for me was still bearish. So anything that happened here, I was still expecting a push up and then sells. So realistically, I was looking for sales this morning. Ooh. So this morning I was looking for sales. So when we got a sweep of the sell side liquidity, indicating that there was buys to the upside, I wasn't really interested purely because I was waiting for something up here to give me the selling opportunity, which never actually happened. So because of that, I actually sat out the markets today and didn't actually get into any of the trades here. However, um, even just looking at the markets, I can see that it was a little bit too choppy. Here's our lower low, lower high, and then we've got all of this weird price action, which isn't really doing anything. So I did watch this. There wasn't a clean break. So for me, I decided to stay out, forgetting about all of this price action. And then when price came up here, I watched it and I thought, you know what? It's best to just stay out of the markets, preserve my capital, then take a trade, which I wasn't 100% sure with. Cool. So now that we've touched on that, let's go back to our silver bullet strategy for today. So what I'll do is let me get rid of all of this so that I can show you exactly my thought process behind this strategy. Right, guys. So let's get into the silver bullet strategy, the trade that I took today so that you guys can see how I made $1,745. So first things first, we mark out the time zones between 9.30 a.m. Eastern to 11 a.m. Eastern. So for me in the UK, that's 2.30 uh, to 4 so first of all let's go and do that so here it is 230 is right there and four is right there lovely so next we identify and annotate five minute buy side sell side liquidity so we tick that off we come over here and for me that would be up here and here that is liquidity sat right there so we've marked out our liquidity and now all we're waiting for is for price to either take out the buy side or the sell side liquidity on the one minute and then we're waiting for market structure shift with a displacement candle. So let's drop down to our one minute and now we're just waiting for price to come and sweep and there it is. So now we've got the sweep, we're waiting for a market structure shift with displacement so now this is where again you have to exercise patience because you have to let the trade come to you do not chase after the trade so price is doing all of this and i know a couple impatient traders would end up getting in on this big move to the downside because they don't want to miss out but again let the trade come to you so you see how price went back up didn't really do anything but now we've created this high and we've created this low so we have to break either to be able to classify as a market structure shift and there it is so now we've got something like this so we've got a higher high higher low failure to create a higher high and a break of this higher low signifying that now we've got this market structure shift with momentum to the downside now we want a lower high created somewhere up here that price can tap into before creating a lower low, right? So 
Now that we've got all of that, again, we're still waiting. We haven't entered the market just yet because now we have to identify our fair value gap. So if we go back to the chart, can you guys identify where that is? So this one is a little bit of a tricky one. I wouldn't say tricky, but you've got one fair value gap right here. And also for me, I had this marked up because here too, you've got price moving to the downside and not really any buyers, just a lot of selling action going on here. So for me, I had both of these zones marked up and I thought, you know what? There's not that much of a difference between the two. It's only a couple pips. And uh, instead of being super aggressive with my entry and, you know, potentially missing out on the trade, I thought, you know what? Let me get in here and actually extend my stop loss above this high because I'd rather have some skin in the game than not have some skin in the game, right? And then we go down here. So let me just go back to the tick sheet. So now we have to enter our limit order with our stop loss and our target. So we're targeting opposing liquidity right here. We've got our stop loss above the high. You could even put it here, you could put it here. But for me personally, I wanna be a little bit safe. So I'm gonna have it there. And just like that, we've now got our limit orders in place. And now we wait for price to either tap us in or leave us. So let's play price on and there's our tap straight into that fair value gap. And as you can see, price did indeed go up and tap into this fair value gap up here and after that she decided to drop absolutely beautiful so we had a nice tap up here so you could have entered aggressive i got in a little bit more safe and from there look how amazing this take profit was so look how beautiful we go up come down look at that perfectly hit the take profit before reversing and going the other way now you have to know when to get in and when to get out of these markets because if you don't you're gonna end up putting money back on the table and giving the money back to the markets and that's something as a trader you do not want to do because you want to make sure that as soon as you've secured the bag you walk right so this was the trade today and uh, as i showed you guys earlier let me just bring it back onto the screen here it is, so this was my trade from today. Nice and beautiful, straight down to the take profit. And when take profit got hit, I netted $1,745. So that was a nice breakdown of the trade today. I did post it in my Telegram channel. So if you guys haven't already, please head to my bio and click the link to join my Telegram. Whilst you're there, please also hit the like, the subscribe, and leave me a comment. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys.